Yeah, um, so what are those, uh, that frame, that's the framework for the solar panels, what yep. do you call those? I, uh, they're made by Iron Ridge, it's, uh, they're aluminum sticks, um, to help support all the, all the solar panels that are going to sit on top of it. Okay, and so that's basically what's up there, the brackets that hold those uh, aluminum sticks? Yes, yeah, there's flashing kits with L feet that hold the aluminum bars, and the aluminum bars will hold the panels. Okay. And then the next step will be to put the uh, solar panels up? Correct. Start hooking those guys up um, in strings. There's going to be three strings of 11 panels a piece. These, how big are the panels? Uh, these Chris, panels, why don't you go, go stand by one of them so we get an idea on the size. These guys, this is a standard size one. It's going to be 39 inches by, I think, 8 by 60. By about 65. Uh huh. Um, see how tall they are. They're pretty. They're fairly big. So. Yeah. How tall are you? About. I'm about 5'10". 5'10". Five five ten, ten, yeah. 5'9". So. Yeah. About my size. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Almost as tall as me. <laughs> and, so, and what are they made out of? Is it uh, okay to touch or no? Yeah, you can touch them. They won't hurt you unless you stick your tongue into these two. No. So. Okay. Um, no. These are ab sacks. Let me take this off. Oh, so are you going to use that as you pull it up? Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, this is how we'll pull them up because we don't have any big machines. These are 250s. Uh, yeah, 250 watts. Watts. A piece, okay. Each panel. Okay. And you'll have 33 of those. Okay. There, so that's a, it's a good amount for the size of the house. So. Uh huh. Yeah. And yeah, it's you know positive and negative. They just kind of all tandemly tied to each other into one big string, coming yeah. from the roof into downstairs where the inverter would be. So there'll be some kind of a cable underneath them that'll be carrying all the... Yep. <coughs> That's what we've been doing all morning. We've been lining... Oh, the, the cable. So the yep. cable's up there too. Yep. So you, okay. yeah, you can't even see them. They're all hiding okay. behind the, the rails and stuff like that. So you don't, you won't see no cables. You won't see anything except for these panels and just like two inches of the rail okay. on the very end. Yeah. And hopefully it'll kind of blend in with the roof a little bit. Yeah. I, yeah. If anything, I think the roof's going to look great. Like I have, nice and shiny. Yeah, yeah. I have a thing when you, I, every time I drive somewhere and I see someone with solar, I'm like, wow, that looks great. You know, depending yeah. on the house and how they did it. I've seen some not so good jobs and I've seen some really amazing ones. So, yeah. And I think, and you, you know, you have a perfect. I say, and you work for Alt, Alt Energy. Alt Energy. Incorporated. <laughs> All spelled <is> out. <laughs> this is Chris for Alt Energy. So, uh, and we're in uh, Central Virginia, and um, so you guys do business all over Virginia, or yes. okay? We've gone all the way to Virginia. I think we did one in North Carolina, or right on the borderline in North Carolina just recently. Uh, Virginia Beach, we've done a few. We're opening up another branch in Maryland, where he's going to be shipped to here soon. Okay. We have one in Idaho, and Stanton, Virginia, and Charlottesville. Virginia. You could probably just look up on altenergy.com. Alt, yep, Alt Energy Incorporated. Incorporated. Okay. Yep. I'll spell that. All right. So the inverter's up on the wall now, and they got the cable that's got the wires in it, and it's going to go down to the inverter, and then once it's the inverter, and. Oh, uh, that's for TV and internet connection, and then there's a whole other box that's going to go right there? Um, yes, this is just the box that goes to the disconnect. Oh, to the disconnect, yeah. okay. And then from the disconnect, it's going to come back in here into the panel. Okay. And that's going to be where your breaker is going to be at. All right. And that's where that's going to be with your on, off, yeah, right here. On, off. Here's the lever. And they had to, uh, Virginia Power had to come out and put in a different electric box. Uh, so this one will run backwards when we're, um, we can't sell the electricity back to Virginia Power, but they can basically store it for us for up to 12 months. I'm sure that we'll use it within that time period. And it'll lower our electric bills, but unfortunately we'll, we'll still have to pay some. Go ahead. All right, flipping the switch. No explosions, that's a really good sign. Yep. Okay, we got a green light. 
Yeah, it's booting up. Oh, it's booting up. Yep. Like a computer. Yep. It's going to make sure it's uh, reading voltages correctly and there's no errors, no ground faults or anything like that. Uh, and if there is, this little orange or red light will start blinking. But if it's good to go 100%, the okay. green light will stop blinking and it'll just be solid. one continuous solid green light. Yep. Yeah. And that normally takes about three to four minutes. Give it, you hear a click. There it goes. And yep, it's starting to read everything. Sweet. All right, so it's actually. Um, Let's see if the meter's turning. You got, back. you got power. Yep. But I don't. It, it, how you can? It doesn't get, turn fast enough to go backwards yet. Yeah, because, you gotta like. Because it's like 63 kilowatt hours on yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta like turn everything off, or like at nighttime yeah. would probably be the best when all your lights go off. Your lights on, but if your AC and uh -huh. everything's kind of turned thing off. First thing in the morning. It's cool. Yeah. So like they said, you could see it run backwards. Like what from up here? Will go yeah, but start. that's like 63. Is that 63 kilowatt hours? So. Yeah, but because they just put it on. Right, right. So you know, you got something on your face. Right up there, it's it's already. Yeah. It's so on. it's registering up there. Yep, it's reading everything. If you want to jump up here. Yeah. Or right here. I can get it pretty good. This is good. And uh, what it does is oh, you. Oh yeah. See that little sign right there? Yep. If you just it right there it'll change you know it'll keep changing oh, as many okay. times as you knock it uh to turn the light on also you can just kind of knock it and the light always supposed to have software so that's the that's the way yes. it gets sort of like makes it update sort of like what is that yeah, so refresh the, that's the, the light thing light to make it refresh so you should be able to, yeah so we can leave it on you guys okay we're good yeah you guys are making power right now all right and it says it right there on that little screen so okay I see uh, the okay. wires coming in through that that's what's coming from the roof and the combiner box on the roof coming down here, those are just pull boxes for us to make a you know pull a lot easier. Um, and it goes straight into the inverter. From the inverter, it goes outside to the disconnect. The disconnect comes outside to the brake fan. And nothing's showing up uh, upstairs in the attic. No, you can go up there and you'd be happy as can be. Yep. You, you, should, you shouldn't have any mess or anything. If, actually, Chris did an even better job than going above that uh, duct you were talking about. Yeah, I know. He opened it up and went inside of it, so you can't even see that stuff. So, but, yeah, he was. So it runs into our electric box, and then from the electric box out here to the Virginia Power box, and. Well, this is the disconnect. Oh yeah! Oh, to the disconnect. To the disconnect. Yeah, so I guess it goes from the panel someplace else right to the... It actually has to go from the inverter out to the disconnect, back inside to your breaker panel. Oh, and then back out. And then back to the meter. Okay. All right. I'm going to go around to the front. And we get the black shutters next week. Yeah. Let's talk to Brad about that. So the solar panels are all hooked up to the cable that runs through the attic and through the walls and down into the garage into the inverter to the electric box and out to the virginia power box and it's producing electricity and believe me it's nice and sunny out today so hopefully it's working good chris yep henry yep and are you guys give me permission to post this video on youtube sure yes. all right you work for Alta Energy. You guys need to get solar power and um, eventually save some money yeah. <laughs> on electricity <laughs> after you pay for your uh, all the installation and everything. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, this is an update. Um, we turned our our solar panel system on August twenty seventh, twenty fourteen, and now today it's. October I think the 24th but at any rate it's been eight weeks and two days and um, you can see that our kilowatt hours are doing pretty well so in August we had some warm weather and uh, our kilowatt hours had crept up over 400 I don't know just two weeks ago and now we've had some cool weather and even though our days are getting shorter uh, we're still producing a lot of electricity so if you keep in mind that that first 24 hour period when the when they installed this meter and there was no solar power and what was that maybe 63 I should have written that down 63 kilowatt hours I believe and now you know two two uh, months later eight weeks and two days exactly 
almost to the minute. Um, we're just at 376 kilowatt hours. So yeah, we're gonna have to pay uh, an electric bill, but it's not gonna be really high. And also the panels are expensive. So, but hopefully we'll recoup all that loss. And so I wasn't really happy about, you know, before I thought of getting the panels and having wires all over the place and having panels on the roof. But I have to say overall, it's worked out really well that the panels really blend in with the roof and um, uh, you've already seen that picture, but uh, they blend in and the wires, the guys did a really good job of um, containing the wires and those um, metal tubing and um, no problems. Ever since we turned it on, we haven't had problem one. We um, monitor it on, on the internet, at the website they gave us, and uh, everything's going well. So solar powers, 